All right, we got another game here. I lost pretty bad against uh, Derek yesterday. Um, today I'm up against uh, Gal Paikin. Paikin. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Uh, Gal Paikin. Um, and I guess Asia is the name of the game, huh? Um, Uh, we scheduled this game kind of last minute, but, uh, I'm on a TS high right now, even though I lost that game so bad yesterday, <clears throat> I've been enjoying it. So. It'd be interesting to see if I can squeeze out a Asia Dom here. I think we'll start with Cambridge five. I don't have a, Ooh. ouch. Uh, huh. Since this is like, a ton of hmm so i think my plan is to actually play the china card here and hold un for if i get cia uh hold maybe if i plan and cia is that a bad idea this is an awkward hand to get purged. Hmm. I don't even know what to do here. I mean, I guess the other way to do it is to just lower DEF CON as much as I can. And then play decal. Yeah, okay, let's see this. What an awkward purge. So that's an event, that's an event. I wonder if he's going to go into Pakistan or fill Iran here. Super awkward hand. <clears throat> And someone got some four ups. Maybe I can get Europe out of this. I have to coup this. 
I don't mind dropping it for four there. I mean, I'm not gonna, I can't fight him for it. So that's, that's just as, uh, as big as it's going to get. Well, the way that he went into Afghanistan there tells me that he probably doesn't have I feel like he probably doesn't have IP war but I guess if he's not going to fight for that then I will And I think I'll play Fidel into France, or maybe even you an intervention. Wow, he loaded his stuff, Con. I guess that makes sense going to Angola. Okay, I lucked out. I got Middle East. Uh, still no four ops. I could five year plan Middle East here. But I think actually I prefer, and I have that in my back pocket in case, honestly, I don't know. Okay, if I play, I think I'm headlining Nasser and then I'm cooling Iran. And let's say he, my my coup fails, he, he defectors me and then my coup fails. Um, There goes Europe. So four, three, four ups on this turn, and then at least one here. Let's see where Japan ends up. That should have been true, man. He has to go into Iran here, though. He has to. France. Super reasonable. Okay, I will do that and go into Lebanon. And I assume he drops Europe then. There's Europe. There's just no point in playing De Gaulle before Truman there. Um, but I can get the domination here, I think. Romania into South Korea. 
Maybe he will give me a China card for South Korea here. That could happen. Nope. Do you stall? Suckers. That looks like someone who has uh, IP war, doesn't it? <sighs> Maybe I need to play five year plan here, although redrawing Europe just fucking hurts. Harry is that too easily. What if I do that? I don't know. Maybe the France break is dumb. Special is coming. You might even have special in hand. <sighs> oh, you know what? Instead of the France break, maybe that's better. Yeah, let's do that. I don't have these stall fuel, which is annoying. Warsaw Pact and Comic Con are coming though, so maybe. Let's see what he does here. He might play the China card here if he's holding these stall. IP War for Influence. Oh, right. He did play as if he had IP war. Okay. I wish I got a four op. That's three full turns with no full ops, four ops. So he has Japan. Um, he also has D stall. Uh, Oh, God damn it. It's annoying. So he doesn't know about Vietnam, Asia, or De Gaulle. I think I'll start with Suez, though. He might play duck and cover, actually. You know what? I think he's going to play duck and cover. Which means Vietnam is a better headline. Because then I can just drop Asia. Yeah, he's going to play duck and cover. Nope. 
Oh, I should have played Asia. That would have been badass. Um, okay, I think I need to just go into the new world since I'm not getting destall. Oh, I should. Oh, shit. I need to play any reds before he plays Warsaw, but he's about to play Warsaw, isn't he? Hmm. No, that's a mistake. I think that should have been worse up packed. But okay, so what can I realistically do here? I don't want to move into Saharan states. Just with indie reds, what can I do? I can take Vietnam. Um, but I'll be giving him six VPs here. I don't have a choice. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, that's stupid. <laughs> oh, man. Did I count wrong about Warsaw? I think Warsaw is one of his cards. I guess, yeah, he has three, three cards left. No Warsaw. I don't really have anywhere to put my ops. Is the problem. Oh, I should have done this earlier. I should have broken Pakistan and gone into Colombia. But now I don't have enough action rounds for that.
Ah, I don't need to type that. I hope he knows. <laughs> So I could do Fidel, I could do Cambridge 5. I look like a genius if Cambridge 5 hits Africa, but... There's somehow I get a feeling it's not going to hit Africa. I think I need that ops from Cambridge 5. Southeast Asia looks bad against... Colonial rear guards, but I think that's just uh, a risk I'm going to have to take. It's annoying for arms race reasons, too. Oh, he gave it back. Hmm. Cambridge five would have been a good play. Who knew? Uh, see here he's plus one. Here I'm plus one, even minus two, minus one. So right. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so I get out of kitchen debates. If I do that, ah. <sighs> That's nice of him to give me mill ups. That makes me feel like, you know what, if I if I try to grab Dom here, he's just going to go into Mexico. So I should just drop this now that I have mill ups. Like that was going to be my way to get mill ups, but I think I should just drop it. Don't like the two in Jordan there. But maybe I should fight for... Maybe 
Middle East control here. Is that doable? Why are you doing that? Uh, okay, I guess this is my chance to get into Zaire, right? Can I have Warsaw Pact now? No. <laughs> the Milops advantage is uh, staggering in this game. Uh, but at least I'm about to get the China card. So that's nice. Uh... Okay, let's get some arms race VPs too. I don't want him to Kuzair, which you would. <clears throat> I mean, I want to spend those ops somewhere. I don't have anywhere to spend them. Incredibly annoying. Um, but, so he's going to headline grain sales. Luckily, CIA is gone. Okay, so South Quags, Pakistan are on Israel. Um, I mean I just he need he knows I have to space that. He knows I can't do anything. Um uh, wouldn't hate it if he gets stuck in here though. I don't really like his playing here. There's something like awkward about, there's something awkward about picking up grain sales. Um, Grain sales is more of like, I feel like grain sales is better as a paranoia card. Like I want to be scared of it, but if I know it's coming, it's, I know that I have to get rid of, or like play Cuban or something. I don't know.
Have I gotten a single four up yet? No, I have not. I'm on turn five and I have zero four ops. Um, I think Cambridge five is my headline. It's nice that I get mill ops from if you were. Um, yeah, there's three. Oh, Kurt, my missing. Oh, oh, yes. No, no, wait, what? No, there's, um, yeah. So yes, Sadat. Just give me those five EPs, please. No. Ah, shit. I don't have a three up. I don't have a three up to take Egypt after Sadat. Actually, if he plays the dot, I play. Wait, no, but then I lose a. Fuck, I lose a. Ah. Uh... Yeah, I lose a. But that's an important. That's for important. That's for super important VPs with the current situation. Since I can't hold five year plan anyway for Africa or Europe. I think if he plays Sadat here, I have to fill Egypt with five year plan and just lose one of these. Oh. Hard disagree on that play. Hard disagree on that play. Holy shit. I, I mean, I guess he doesn't have a... Yeah, he doesn't have um, Sadat, but man. Okay. Or maybe he just has like a whole bunch of other stuff he needs to do. Like play puppets or... All right, what do we do when opponent plays nuke subs? We do annoying shit. Okay. 
I mean, I can't do anything about this, so. I wonder if he got Africa from his last map. All the power cards are still gone, by the way. How am I up by six here? <laughs> I don't feel like I should be up by six here. No. <laughs> Realigning Nigeria, the expected result is that he gets emptied out. I guess if I do that, he just coos it. I think I have to do this. Oof. All right, can I have all of the, can I have all the good cards next turn? I'm talking like VOA, all the power cards, test ban. Okay, it is turn. <laughs> Six, and I have received some four ops. So that's nice. The problem is he probably got VOA. Um, and Europe, I got Europe now, which means it comes back. And he probably has. Man, this is a rough game. <laughs> But at least I got some four ups. At least I got some four ups. Uh, let's uh, look at the bright side here. <laughs> um, I think the headline is deep call. Which actually threatens the Thailand flipped as well. The problem is I think I have to coup into South America. Flip Thailand. I have to flip Thailand. The hunt is incredibly annoying here. Uh, 
So he gets South America. I get Central, I think, unless he takes Mexico here. Oh, he could have he could have ABM and Brush War as well. He yeah, he could have ABM. And he could have Brush War. <laughs> uh it's actually quite likely that he has one of them. So going into Mexico or Panama here is ill advised. Okay, well, at least let's fight for Panama, shall we? <clears throat> yeah, I should have put one in Angola, now that I think about it. Then if I manage to trick him into a powerful Che, and I actually flip Botswana, then Angola becomes flippable too. Now that I finally got some ops. I guess I don't need four ops here. Actually, I only need two ops, but... He's gonna coup Colombia here. Maybe I'll try to hold Brezhnev. scary of him to, in this Middle East situation, to not event Camp David, I think. Okay, can fix that. No problem. So Nixon and Nasiri are gone, but cultural still here. Yep. Oh, right. I played China card. Hmm. All right. I, I mean, I guess I break Venezuela with NATO. And I hold Che and Brezhnev. Or maybe... No, I need to get Milops. Damn it. Oh, you only get one coup with Che. That hurts. That sucks. 
Um, okay, so I got ABM, he got Brush War, I got Africa, I got VOA, which I'm very happy to see. He has rear guards, though. That is also really annoying. Did we have a reshuffle? Yeah, we did. I'm just bad at... Okay. We just barely had a reshuffle. So he has Brush War, We Will Vary, Rear Guards, Opic Flower Powers, Sadat, Puppets, UN, and One Small Step. So I need to save... Yeah, he's gonna... He's going to headline rear guards. And then he gets to flip Thailand again. So I'm bad at this game. Um, God damn it. Yeah. Fuck. He's going to flip Thailand again. I don't want him to flip Thailand again. But that's what he's going to do. And I don't think there's any getting out of Africa here. I don't think there's any way for me to get out of Africa. What if I just play how I learned and protect Thailand and then coup Venezuela with ABM treaty? He's going to be spacing. Oh, he has to space. We will bury you actually. And hold OPEC maybe. Oh, but he has whatever, whatever I ABM, he's going to brush war after. This is so fucking annoying. I think I have to do this and just uh, protect Thailand. And Nigeria. What? I don't understand what just happened. He didn't want to take Thailand. Okay. Okay. I guess we set it to three and then coup. I thought he would go into Thailand for sure. <laughs> Good thing I didn't roll a one, I guess.
Oh, that brush sword is going to hurt. But I kind of feel like I have... Oh, God damn it. I played this all wrong, but I don't want to give him six VPs here. I really don't want to give him six VPs here. Yeah. Oh, I hate that he has brush war. I think it's time to overprotect North Korea and South Korea as well. <laughs> I don't think he's card counting. I think I'm going to have to Kuza here with ABM. No, I can't. Fuck it. Now he has to brush war. Unless he wants to give me China card, which he shouldn't. Fair. Oh, come on. I give up. No, I don't give up, but like... AI war could happen. Hmm. I guess. I can't have it be defected, so I'm thinking I ran Contra and then AR1 Junta and then realign Venezuela. 
Does that sound reasonable? Or lads. Maybe lads and Junta's better. I mean, I need to flip Brazil. Fair. Hey! This is not going well. Okay, so here are a couple of things that need to happen. I guess he needs to get some war cards is one thing that needs to happen. Um, I'm not scared of that realign. This is my sticking point. This is I this is like my thing. People are scared of realigns when they're at plus one, but I'm at five. He has to he has to roll he has to spend five ops for a reasonable return on that. So So I'm not scared of him realigning Brazil here. I mean, it could happen. Of course it could happen, but it could happen on a naked realign too. Guess I can save that. Ugh. What a nonsense game. Take East European unrest, please. No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I don't even know what to do here. This is uh, so bad. <laughs> uh, this is so bad. What do I do with my last stop? Put it in East Germany, I guess. I guess Romanian can coup Guatemala, I was going to say, or arms race, but now that's not happening, so. You know what? 
Let's realign them out of Venezuela. Too late, but like, what else am I supposed to do? All right, so I don't have a path to winning this game, I believe. I think I think that like what needs to happen is I need, I need to like flip India with IP war. And then I need hostage crisis and AI war to happen. Okay. Um, hostage crisis and AI war flips Middle East to control. And then I need war games. And our scorings come in the right order as well. This is my, uh, <laughs> this is the opposite of what needed to happen. <laughs> what? I guess I got AI war. Okay. And camp David, so I can play AI war first. And then I guess fix Camp David with himself. And honestly, AI War is my top. Um, but it's a six only. <laughs> I'm watching got crane sales or something. <laughs> Okay. Ah, oh. roll the five. I mean, I can't give him a coup here, so I guess. God damn it! Shuttle gives him uh, Asia Tom as well. I have to survive these uh, real lines. Oh, don't have to survive those real lines. Bye, guys. <laughs>